The penis enlargement remedy is one of the latest in a long line of guides cashing in on some men's desire to increase their size. And in my opinion, it's one which you need to think very carefully about before getting into. The author, Tom Kando, claims it's a cutting-edge approach to penis enlargement. And it's certainly one which takes time to get your head around, your thinking head, that is. Many ebooks about sex problems can be over the top, but this one is a particularly bad offender. The sales video starts with, my wife held a gun to my penis. And the website incorrectly states that most women want a penis that's longer than 8 inches. Still interested? Let's take a closer look at how the author plans on performing the miraculous. The cellular growth concept The core concept is all about encouraging cellular growth. You do this by taking two supplements and then doing natural stretching exercises to direct the growth to your penis. It sounds logical, but there's no solid evidence it works. You're not told in advance that you'll need to spend extra money in supplements, which I don't think is fair. And since I'd rather my readers didn't waste their money, I'll tell you that one of them is blue-green algae, so you research it yourself. I did some investigation online and can't find any scientific evidence that either supplement can increase penis size. Even though stem cell growth is an area of scientific research, there's just nothing to be found about a correlation between taking these supplements and penis size. So basically, the author either knows something we don't, or is just selling some wishful thinking to men who are desperate. Other than supplementation, there are stretching techniques, and a section about encouraging growth through the right kind of gym work, with details about how to train to boost your natural growth hormones. The stretching techniques The core program consists of a combination of pelvic floor muscle exercises, stretching, and jelking. They are all natural exercises, with detailed step-by-step -step instructions explaining how to do them, safely. I disagree that you can do as many kegels as you like in one day though. For me, that risks overtraining your pelvic floor muscles, but I always err on the side of caution where kegels are concerned. After explaining all the different exercises, you'll find a daily exercise regime, with six weeks worth of programs. Following that there are instructions for pushing your training even further in the following weeks. Tom also offers his advice about premature ejaculation, correcting a curved penis and erectile dysfunction. And as with most ebooks these days, you get some extra sex guides included, some of which are interesting, others not so much. My tests of the program I tried all the exercises, finding the instructions easy to follow and the techniques safe to do. However, I had no success with them. I actually tried the techniques for three months, using both the ones in this guide and in others, combining them to see what the effect would be. I sometimes saw minimal growth at the end of a session, but it wouldn't last into the next day. And at the end of three months, there was no difference to my size. I didn't try the supplements recommended by this guide as I didn't feel comfortable taking them. So I can't say from personal experience whether the complete program works or not. Pros 1. Well-written and easy-to-follow guide. 2. Detailed description of stretching exercises. 3. You can download your own copy. 4. The author responded in detail to my questions. Cons 1. You have to buy additional supplements which you're not told about until after you pay for the guide. 2. The supplements and technique are controversial and experimental. 3. There's no scientific proof that the method will lead to an increase in penis size. Verdict I personally think the penis enlargement remedy is little more than a clever marketing ploy. The outrageous claims on the website and the over-the-top sales video are a bad start, and the alarm bells ring from the very first second. I think with no scientific backing to the theory behind the program, this is one to avoid.